Hello, my dear students, take my heart. I hope you all are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. My little brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My little learners, today I will discuss on class 1 elementary mathematics and I will try to solve all the questions which is mentioned in page number 87. So let's try to do the class. The students, you can see that it is page number 87 which is mentioned in your textbook. Today, I will try to solve question number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In my early lectures, I was described how you can solve such types of subtractional problems and these are some easy problems. And when you will try to solve question number 2, 3, 4 and 5, it is a little bit critical question from the first one. So, in this video, I will try to solve all the questions. In question number 2, 3, 4 and 5, I will try to use this slide to make you uh, easy process of solving. So first of all, I would like to show you the solving of question number 1. You can see that in question number 1, there has 29 minus 16. Dear students, in my early lectures, I was described the definition of subtraction and addition. You know that whenever the author asked you or whenever any any teacher asked you the additional problems or subtracting problems, you know that addition means something which is a process of add adding or summation and subtracting means something to reduce. So in question number 1, we can see that 29 minus 16. You know that whenever you will try to solve such types of problems, you should start from your right hand. So, in your right hand, you can see that 9 minus 6. Do you know that what, is, what will be the answer of 9 minus 6? Yes, dear students, 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. And that is why you should write a 3 in your right hand side. And if you see your left hand side, you can see that 1 minus 2 minus 1. Do you know what will be the answer here? Yes, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And so it will be 13 so the answer of question number one will be 13 if we see question number two we can see that 37 minus 15 in our right hand side we can see that 7 and 5 so 7 minus 5 is equal to there you should write a 2 and in your left hand side you can see that 3 minus 1 you know that 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so the answer here will be 22 if we see question number 3, we can see that 48 minus 13. In our right hand side, we can see that 4 minus 3, 8 minus 3. You know that 8 minus 3 is equal 5 and that is why in your right hand side, you should write a 5. And in your left hand side, you can see that 4 minus 1. You know that 4 minus 1 is equal 3. So the answer of this question will be 35. If we see question number 4, we can see that in our right hand side, there has 4 and 4. If we subtract 4 from 4, the answer will be 0. Why? Dear students, you know that if we subtract something with that number, the answer will be 0. So that is why 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. And if we see our left hand side, we can see that 2 minus 1. You know that 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So the answer of this question will be 10. If we see question number 5, we can see that in our right, right hand side, there has 8 minus 1. You know that 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. And whenever you will try to see your left hand side, you can see that 3 minus 3. And some students will be confused with this question that 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So, in our left hand side, what we should write here? You know that in our left hand side, we, sh we should not use a 0. So, the answer of this question will be just a 7. If we see question number 6, we can see that 49 minus 43. In right hand side, there has 9 minus 3. You know that 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. And in the left hand side, you can see that 4 minus 4. You know that 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So the answer of this question will be just 6. If we see question number 7, we can see that in our right hand side, there has 5 minus 0. You know that 5 minus 0. In my earlier lecture, I was described or I, I were mentioned that if we add or subtract something, from nothing the answer will be that number not zero so here we can see that five minus zero the answer will be just five and here two minus one is equal to one so the answer here will be 15 if we see question number eight you can see that 45 minus 40 in our right hand side there has five minus zero you know that whenever 
we will try to subtract a zero from any types of number the answer will be that number so in this case the answer of this question will be 5 and here in our left hand side will be 4 minus 4 is equal to 0 so the answer of question number 8 will be just 5 if we see question number 9 we can see that in our right hand side there has 0 minus 0 you know that 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and then in our left hand side you can see that 3 minus 2 is equal to what you know that 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 and so the answer of this question number 9 will be 10 if we see question number 10 we can see that 0 minus 0 you know that 0 minus 0 means nothing minus nothing and the answer will be just nothing so 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and if we see if we see our left hand side there has 5 minus 1 you know that 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 so the answer of this question will be just 40 if we see question number 11 we can see that 41 minus 41 here in our right hand side we can see that 1 minus 1 you know that 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and in the left hand side we can see that 4 minus 4 you know that 4 minus 4 is equal also 0 so the answer of question number 11 will be just a 0 if we see question number 12 we can see that 0 minus 0 is equal 0 and then 2 minus 2 is equal 0 so the answer of question number 12 will be also 0 then question number 13 9 minus 2 is equal what you know that 9 minus 2 is equal 7 and in our left hand side there has nothing on that Plus. so the answer of this question will be just 3 so the whole answer of this question will be 37 if we see question number 14 we can see that in our right hand side there has 4 minus 6 minus 6 you know that 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 and then in our left hand side there has just a 4 and that 4 will be here so the answer of this question will be 40 if we see question number 15 we can say that 32 minus 0 in our right hand side 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 and in our left hand side there will be just a 3 from here so the answer of this question will be 32 if we see question number 16 there has a little bit critical question from the first types of question here we can see that 35 minus 13 how can you solve this question you can solve this question by creating a rough on your road notebook or you can also can solve this question by subtract from your right hand side in our right hand side we can see a 5 here and there we can also see a 3 so 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 and that is why in your right hand side you should write a 2 and in your left hand side you can see a 3 and 1 so 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so the answer will be 22 if we see question number 17 we can see that 47 minus 26 here 7 minus 6 is equal 1 and 4 minus 2 is equal 2 so the answer of this question will be 21 if we see question number 18 we can see that 31 minus 11 here right in our right hand side we can see that 1 minus 1 is you know that 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and then 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so the answer of this question will be 20 if we see question number 19 you can see that 29 minus 22 in our right hand side you can see a 9 and here has a 2 so 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 and here 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 you know that the answer of this question will be just a 7 if we see question number 20 we can see that 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and then 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so the answer of this question will be 20 if we see question number 21 we can see that 23 minus 23 you know that 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 and then 2 minus t is 2 minus 2 is equal also a 0 so the answer of question number 21 will be just a 0 if we see question number 22 we can see that 24 minus 3 you know that 4 minus 3 is equal 1 and then that 2 will be here so the answer of this question will be 21 if we see question number 13 23 we can see that 38 minus 8 you know that 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 and these 3 will be here so the answer of this question will be just a 30 if we see question number 24 we can see that for 50 minus 0 here 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and that file be 5 will be here so the answer of question number 24 will be 50 so dear students i hope you all will understand the questions of uh, question number 1 here we solved almost 24 questions now it is time for the enjoyment it is time for entertainment with some critical mathematics now we will try to solve a little bit question little bit difficult question in question number two we can see that the question is Taslima had 37 blank papers she used 15 of them to draw pictures how many blank pictures were left with her the students try to collect data or information from these 
questions in my earlier lectures i was mentioned that whenever you will try to solve any types of question first of all you should read the questions deeply so that you can collect the data you can collect the information from the particular questions so here we can see that in the first line the slima had 37 blank papers and she used 15 papers from them from there she is used 15 papers so the number of paper will be reduced and that is why here we will try to solve this question with the concept of subtraction subtracting so how we can customize or summarize this question now i will try to show you the answer of this question so let's try to do the class and let's go to the board in the first line you should write that it is solution of question number two you can also write here answer to the question number two and in the first line of the math you should write that the slima had 37 papers and in the next line you should write that she used 15 papers and in earlier i mentioned that because it is a question of subtracting it is a question of minus and that is why you should write a minus sign here and in the final line of the math you should write that now there has 22 the students can you guess why i write here 22 you know that 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 and here 3 minus 1 is equal also a 2 so the answer of this question will be 22 papers and if we write our answer of this question it will be fulfilled so in the next line we should write our answer and you should write a equal sign here so 22 papers were left with with her okay so that will be the answer and then if we will try to solve question number three before solving this question i would like to show you question number three and try to read it deeply in question number three you can see that the question is shakib wants to buy a toy of 48 taka but he has only 28 taka how many taka does he need more to buy the toy the students try to collect data from here in the first line, you can see that Shakib wants to buy a toy which is 48 taka, but he has only 28 taka. So, how many taka did he does he need more? So, here we can solve this question also with the concept of subtracting. So, how can we customize or summarize this question? Please go to the board and try to solve this. So, it is our question number three. So, in the first line, you should write the solution of question number three, and in the next line, or in the first line of your maths you should write the price of the book is equal 48 taka so it is mentioned here it is mentioned in the question that Shakib wants to buy a toy of 48 taka so you should write this line just a little bit customizing the lines so in the first line you should write that price of the book is equal 48 taka and in the next line you should write that he has 28 taka and in earlier i mentioned that it is a math of subtracting and it will be a calculation of subtracting and that is why you should write a minus sign here and in the final line of this math you should write he needs 20 taka so how we can get this 20 taka here you know that 8 minus 8 is equal 0 and then 4 minus 2 is equal 2 so the answer of this question question will be just 20 taka so whenever you will try to solve such types of questions you should write an answer in the final line of your math so here the answer is he needs 20 taka so i hope you all will understand question number three now it is time to solve question number four before solving that i would like to show you question number four here in question number four the author mentioned that there are 22 children in grade 2 and 34 in grade 1 which grade has more and how many more the students just try to collect the data from here you know that there the author mentioned two class or two grade and he also mentioned the numbers of particular class or that particular grade so how can we customize or summarize this question so let's go to the board and try to solve this question so in question number four in the first line you should write the solution of question number four you can also write answer to the question number four and then in the first line of the math you should write number of children in grade one and it is mentioned here that the number of grade one is 34 so why i write this line mm, we with the uh, with the data here because you know that in grade number one there has 34 p children where 
in grade 2 there has just 22 children so the number of grade 1 is greater than the number of grade 2 grade 2 so that is why i write in the first line the number of grade 1 and in the next line you should write that number of children in grade 2 is equal to 22 and in earlier i mentioned that we should na we should make uh, the concept of subtracting and that is why you should use this minus sign here and in the final line you should write the difference so what will be the difference here you know that 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 and then 2 3 minus 2 is equal 1 so the answer of this question will be 12 so it is the answer and the full answer is grade 1 has 22 children 12 children and there also the author asked you that which grade has more and how many more you can write that uh, grade 1 has more and they have 12 children more so i hope you all were understand question number four now i will try to solve question number five before solving that please try to read the question deeply so now we will go to the page and it is page number 87 and it is question number five you can see that the author mentioned in the question a storybook of 50 pages Mita already reached 20 pages how many pages she has she got has she has she not yet read so there please try to collect the data from here so you can see that in the first line the author mentioned that a storybook of 50 pages from there Mita read already read 20 pages so how many pages were left so in this case or in this question we should also use the concept of subtracting so how can we solve this question now we will try to solve this question so let's go to the board and try to solve question number five in the first line you should write the solution of question number five as earlier I mentioned and in the first line of the question or all of the solution you should write that the book contains 50 pages and it is mentioned here you can see that a story book of 50 pages so in the first line you should write that the book contains 50 pages and in the next line you should write that Mita reads 20 pages and because it is a math of subtracting you should write this minus sign here and in the final line of the math you should write that yet she has not read 30 pages so why i write here a 30 here do you know that 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 and then 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 so the answer of this question will be 30 pages so in the final line you should write that yet she has not read 30 pages so the answer of this question will be 30 pages so dear students i hope you all were understand that solution of question number one two three four and five but if you have any types of problems on such types of mathematics or on the topics of today's class you can write me without any hesitation